Spaniard who moved to Finland, who now lives in, in the Netherlands, whose wife is Japanese. So all that communication between human beings is something that is just important in my daily life. My name is Pablo Cesar and my research is about facilitating the way people communicate and the way people access media. So a lot of my research is about understanding that communication, is understanding and modeling all those interactions and then creating the algorithms and, and, and all the, the, the infrastructure in order to improve it and to optimize it. So one of the things that we do is to facilitate the way people enjoy media. Instead of providing users with one fixed uh, video, what we do is that we make available all kinds of media objects. Those could be in different languages, it could be sign language, it could be different videos, different cameras. Since we have the mechanism to actually understand the context and the experience of the user, then we will provide a much better experience that is pretty unique because you are the one who is creating that experience. Another area of research that we have is about uh, teleconferencing in 3D. So in there what we are trying to provide is an environment in which people can communicate in virtual reality. So in there what is really complicated is how you reconstruct humans in real time, but at the same time how you reduce the volume of that data in order to fit the actual network that you have. And we are using that for entertainment, but at the same time it can be used for healthcare. So you can have remote consultations with doctors. At the end of the day, now we have a transportation habits. They are not sustainable. In the long term, it's impossible that we travel so much as we are doing right now. So as a society, we will need to provide rich and good mechanisms for both communicating and consuming media. We will save a lot of time, we will save some effort and a bit of the planet. <laughs>